Yo guys, so today I have a special topic to discuss. Uh, I've been watching this documentary. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was talking about microwave radiation, right? So uh, when it comes to all this technology we have everywhere around us, right? Anywhere you are on the planet. It is a technology we don't fully understand. So I took some notes down from this documentary. I want to read these notes to you folks. So just to, you know, get you up to speed what it is I'm going to um, actually discussing with you guys right so here goes there are a number of studies which show that male fertility has been badly affected by microwaves especially in mice where their fertility was shown to have been completely gone are we prepared to risk all of the future generations of the world for today's profit margin? That's a great question because that is exactly what we're risking. The cells are identical to plants, animals, humans. If you are damaging a human cell you are automatically damaging every other single thing cells too, right? So, in India, there was a study done, probably most of you have heard of it, but simply forgotten about it, where people put a cell phone next to a beehive, which resulted in the bees, bees right, leaving the area completely. A bee will normally navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. So what we have is a bee who is disorientated, disorientated and at the same time its immune system is starting to collapse. So th this brings us to the next, you know, question right but are all these thousands and thousands of scientific papers which are published all of them wrong you know I'm talking about the scientific papers which claim that all these you know sim card uh, radiation and uh, this bluetooth radiation and I don't know, radio wave radiation and uh, Wi-Fi radiation, you know, it, it doesn't do anything, right? It's completely harmless. What if all of them are wrong, right? Or are all of these just put out there to get, you know, time to make as much money as possible and not to make decisions today which brings us to the next question right when then should we start to react which brings us to a little story about a woman so okay i'm gonna read you because i wrote it down there was a woman in stockholm who started having a having a strange headache sometime in 2003 i think it was here yeah? and she said it felt like her head was constantly under pressure which never went away so she learned to live with it and it and uh didn't think much of it right when she re reached the point when she set up micro microwave repellent curtains at her home she realized she was very sensitive to microwave 
radiation. Her head squeezing chronic headache won't appear at her home now. Yet when she, she is outside, it is constant. And she said she doesn't notice the microwave squeezing her head until she gets back home, after which she always feels completely tired. So, stuff like this really makes me wonder, right? It's simply because I have the same thing. Constantly, wherever I go, as, as long as I'm awake, right? Feel pressure, right here. Pressure. It's like this constant fucking headache. I don't know when did it begin. No idea. At some point it did. And I've just learned to, you know, live with it. And I've been doing, running some experiments, right? So me and my wife, we go to sleep pretty early in the evening because she has to wake up real early in the morning, right? For work. So, uh, you know, first thing I, when I began experimenting with this thing, right? I started keeping my phone on airplane mode, right? Just keeping the Wi-Fi on so I could check some few things and just keep it keeping it on airplane plane mode as much as possible that actually boosted some some i felt like i don't know i really did feel like a tiny bit better as, as soon as i started doing that right then i started keeping my laptop on airplane mode as well and it all of this accumulated up to the point where well, now, you know, if I go to sleep, I switch off the Wi-Fi, switch off, you know, the anything that emits some kind of a frequency, right? And God, when I wake up, I feel like, feel like a happy baby. I see good dreams. All throughout the night, I don't, you know, sweat or I don't run up and down to the toilet that much. I really feel rested in the morning. So that's something, something to really think about, guys. I mean, we are living inside a microwave oven. And people don't understand it. Especially children, right? It's kind of weird, right? I I remember a time when, uh, you know, we had to switch off the phones and uh, what you know, the TVs and everything, right, at night. But these days, people actually keep all their wireless shit working 24-7 right next to their where they sleep, you know? They take their... Wi-Fi, wireless, Bluetooth, whatever devices to bed. They wake up and they look at their screens, watch some, I don't know, goddamn knows what the hell they're doing. And they're even keeping all this wireless uh, microwave oven technology right next to their genitals, right? Every day, all day, all night, 365 a year, right? So, let me know what you guys think about this topic down in the comment section below, right? I don't know, man. The headache goes away right after I switch off all this wireless shit. So, my recommendation is try to use this little wireless stuff around where your home is right at least keep your phone on airplane mode as much as possible and if you really have to use wi-fi don't use it for more than two hours a day right? i know it sounds stupid because it's kind of impossible to achieve these days 
But you know, there are people selling microwave repellent curtains, which I don't have personally, but I'm really interested into looking into these things. And I heard that the internet has to offer microwave repellent clothes as well, which I'm going to be investigating uh, in the near future deeply. I want to get rid of my headache. Oh God, I, it's been so many years, I, I don't even know how long. I always thought it was something to do with the light, right? The sunlight and the whatnot. Maybe not, you know. Maybe it is all these frequencies and things going around us. Because some dudes told me told me something interesting, right? When you're on a trampoline and you're like bouncing on it, right? You're using your own frequency. Everything's fine, right? But uh, imagine imagine a, like a like a hundred stone uh, dude starts bouncing, bouncing right next to you, right, on the trampoline, you sort of have no choice. You have to use that guy's frequency there, right? Well, it's the same with the brain waves, right? So the microwaves are heavier and smaller. So if you're bombarded by some kind of type of microwaves all day and night, right, year by year, your brain sort of doesn't have a choice but to, you know, accept that frequency uh, as the base norm or whatever and even your pulse and uh, your, your heart rhythm and everything starts changing according according to that right kind of creepy but that's the world we live in today right anyway thank you guys for watching peace